Hi hello welcome to Harsha Sal Star Cafe that's going to keep you fast fun and happy the federal judiciary of USA courts are essential in all organized societies their organization and role vary with the form of government political theories social and economic systems traditions and customs the articles of confederation did not provide a federal judiciary in the united states the judicial task was left exclusively to the states When the plans for federal government were being laid at Philadelphia Convention the necessity for a federal judiciary was felt Accordingly the constitution provided in article 3 that the judicial power of the United States shall be vested in one supreme court and in such inferior courts as the congress may vary from time to time ordain and establish the congress enacted the judiciary act of 1978 which with numerous amendments forms the basis of the federal hierarchy of courts the supreme court the federal judiciary is the creation of the constitution and it has been specifically mentioned in article 3 the constitution does not refer to the structure of organization it states that the judicial power will be vested in the supreme court and the inferior courts as congress may ordain or establish the other fed the other federal courts have been created by the congress The Supreme Court stands at the apex of the American judicial pyramid and since the early 1930s have been housed in an imposing marble structure facing across the park towards the east front of the national capital. The constitution has not fixed the number of judges. The number was reduced twice and increased five times. The number of judges varied from 5 to 10. As first constituted it consisted of a chief justice and five associates today the supreme court consists of one chief justice and eight associate judges appointment all the judges are appointed by the president and with the advice and consent of the senate the constitution prescribes no qualifications for the apex court judge hence the president is free to appoint any one for whom senatorial confirmation can be obtained The, re- the rule of senatorial courtesy does not limit the choice of the president tenure the judges hold office during good behavior and are removed by impeachment only a judge may retire if he wishes when he reaches the age of 70 or at any time thereafter he can re- retire with full salary provided he has served on the bench for 10 years he may retire at 65 with 15 years of service or at the age of 70 with 10 years service at his credit and receive full pay for life since the judges do not readily give up office even when they reach the retirement age there has been criticism of life appointments sessions the supreme court holds one regular session every year beginning of the first monday in october and ending early in the following june special sessions may be conducted by the chief justice when the court is adjourned but the occasion must be of unusual importance and urgency six judges constitute the quorum the chief justice is the executive officer of the court he presides over all sessions and announces its orders the court conducts hearings on tuesday wednesday thursday and friday on saturday the judges confer among themselves and register their opinions on monday judgments are delivered in public all the judges sit together there are no benches a decision may be unanimous or divided if divided the majority and dissenting opinions are usually written the judges who agree with the majority decision but do not with the reasons may write concurring opinions the decisions of the supreme court are published in the united states reports